What's going on guys, in this video I'll explain why using a precision amplifier is better than using a regular amplifier. So in a, let's take a look at a regular full wave rectifier. So you have something like this. A four dial setup. Well, this might be cheaper, uh, cheaper to to make, but it's not possible in some application uh, uh, such as uh, biomedical instrumentations. Uh, the signal source is a lot a lot smaller, so you need a very precise uh, rectifier. So this would be your output normally, and this is your R load. And this uh, this is your V source. Let's let's for uh, example say V source is 10 volts. Okay. So what does that mean? That means that my voltage here uh, is 10 volts. And so this has to be. Let's assume also assume VF equals 0.7 volt for all of the diodes. And this here would be, of course, 9.3 volts. And let's assume that let's call this my reference here. So this here is actually 0.7 volt here at this point. 0.7 volt. So 10 minus uh, actually 9. Oops. 9.3 minus 0.7 is 8.6. So the voltage across this right here is 8.6. So what does that mean? That means the total uh, the total voltage drop uh, required uh, before total required is 1.4 at least 1.4 volts for for this circuit to be active. So it, when you have your uh, source signal. Uh, low low source signal voltage signal le is less than 1.4 volt. You cannot rectify the, the 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 source. You cannot do uh, the rectify. So that'll be you cannot do this. Instead, the output be at zero. So the the up amp uh, setup will bypass this uh, this. Uh, this constraint here with these dials because an up amp will compensate uh, the forward voltage using by increasing the voltage before here. So the up amp will actually compensate by driving this voltage 0.7 volts higher than it needs to be uh, than the output here. So that will take care of the the four voltage. So that's why we want to use a precision amplifier instead of a regular regular uh, four dial rectifier here. All right, thanks for watching. Keep watching my other videos, which I'll explain on uh, the full way rectifier and the half way rectifier using the operational amplifier. See you next time.